My number one focus is targeting gangs. And there's a reason for that. They are committing conservatively 75 to 80 percent of all of the violent crime that we are seeing within our community. But be aware that you have the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself while you are there and anywhere else anything that you say can be used against you. They pull up like right here. They would just soon it like, you know, sideways behind the car. You better watch the way you breathe around me for that breath be your last boy. Smith and Wesson 45 put a hole in his heart, better not play with me. Killers stay with me. I shot at his mommy. Now he no longer mentioned me. What the hell is going on with YSL? Why did y'all let Young Thug record that song? And why did y'all let him release it? Social media is a wonderful tool for prosecutors in every indictment we bring nowadays. What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. New details have emerged into the YSL Rico case after nine co-defendants has taken a plea deal and basically blamed Young Thug for everything. They said he was the leader. They said he committed murders. They said he had trap houses. And now you even got one defendant saying Young Thug was a drug kingpin. Now we seen Antonio Sledge in court the other day. Young Thug top hitter. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Heavy nigga with a light voice. He in there sounding like Mike Tyson. He was so scared. And then we seen Young Thug right hand man YSL Tick go to court and tell everything. This the same dude Young Thug was shouting out in songs. Yo Tick gonna flip you. Tick got the chopper. Tick gonna rob her. Tick gonna fold. Cause when it's time to face the Rico, he told everything. We heard, we see him in court. Are you guilty? Yes. Did Young Thug do that? Yes. You know he was a snitch because the S's was too hard at the end of his answers. Did you commit this murder? Yes. So you know he telling. So I look at it like Young Thug. Young Thug is facing all these charges. Everybody else is getting plea deals. Everybody else is getting probation. It seems like all they have to do is say, Young Thug made me do it. And they're going to say, okay, well, you're going to get 10 years probation. Just come testify against Young Thug. And I don't like that at all. I think that compromises the integrity of the case. Because I look at it like this. If Young Thug is guilty, he deserved to be in jail. But I also feel like if the other guys committed crimes, they deserve to be in jail as well. They just can't get off on plea deals by saying, Young Thug made me do it. Because now you're giving them an incentive to throw Young Thug under the bus. These are grown ass men. So they got to be held accountable. We got to be able to look at them and say, these are the consequences for your action. We get it Young Thug has the money. We get it that Young Thug was a leader. But ain't nobody forced you to do it. Y'all chose to be up under Young Thug. Y'all chose to be YSL. Y'all chose to go to war in the streets of Atlanta. So now when it's time to face the jury, it's time to face the trial, time to face the music, y'all want to put it all on Young Thug like Young Thug is just an animal. I think every last one of you guys should be ashamed of yourself for not holding it down. I look at it like this. Last time we seen Young Thug free, the nigga was wearing dresses, had lipstick, had his fingernail polish on, standing pigeon toed, bow legged. You mean to tell me this is the dude who running everything? This the dude that had y'all doing all this crazy stuff against your will. I just don't believe it. So I see them taking plea deals, and now I got a question for Young Thug. What you gonna do? Cause now I'm thinking Young Thug has no choice but to cop out. He gotta own up to some of this. Not everything, but he gotta try to make the best deal for himself. He needs to go to the prosecutors and say, all right, look, I'm done playing hardball. I'm coming to you on bended knee. I'm willing to cop out to some of this stuff. I'm willing to skip trial, plead out. Let me have some of my life back. If I can get out at 65 and I'm Young Thug, that's a hell of a deal. Cause I'm looking at this Rico. I'm looking at this indictment. I'm looking at everybody that's willing to throw you under the bus. It don't seem like you have much options. Now, your dad feel different. Jeffrey Williams Sr., he did an interview and they asked him, what do you think should happen if your thug was offered a plea deal? And this is what he had to say. Y'all listen to this. Thug, take a plea if it's offered to one. I can't answer that because I'm not him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not him. But what I can say to what I can say to you to try to give you some insight of who I am and what I represent is I'm his father. 
my son is not guilty of a lot of things that these people probably saying about him. Sir, they have evidence against your son. They have people willing to throw him under the bus and cooperate with the prosecutors to throw him in jail for life. What you mean he's not guilty? Now I get that's your son. I get that you're a dad and you're a little bit in denial, but your thug ain't no saint. They call him Thugger. He got Lil Wayne hit up. We remember Lil Wayne tour bus got hit up and Lil Young Thug manager got arrested for that because he was rolling with Birdman. We all know what happened. Young Thug is guilty. I'm not even finna play that. Young Thug is innocent. He has no hope of beating this case. I'm not optimistic no more. At first I was. You asked me two weeks ago, I would have said, yeah, Young Thug gonna beat it, man. They ain't got really got too much on Young Thug. Ain't nobody gonna fold. But every day I wake up, Somebody is copping a plea, somebody is agreeing to testify, and somebody have evidence against Young Thug that they're going to testify at trial that's going to put him away. So yes, he's guilty. We're not going to play that game. Young Thug is guilty as hell. Now, I'm interested in how much time he going to get. That's what I want to know because I know he's going to be found guilty on some of these things. May not be all, but more than half of this stuff Young Thug will be found guilty on. I'm just interested in how much time is he going to get because y'all keep talking about, man, Young Thug needs to cop out for five years. That ain't happening. It won't be a slime life for it. Young Thug will not get out before 2050. It is what he, I'll be an old nigga by the time Young Thug get out. I'm young, I'm fresh right now. By the time Young Thug get released, I'ma have a cane in my hand. That's how long he's expected to get behind bars. I'm just being real. But let's continue. And as a father, if they came to him with a plea deal and he left it up to me, to give him the advice, I would tell him no. That's bad advice as a father. Cause I'm gonna tell you straight up, if I'm young thug father and he's looking at all these charges, I see nine co-defendants has decided to flip the script and work with the state to put him behind bars. I'm telling young thug, cop out, take a plea deal. Ain't nobody else playing fair, why should you? So you wanna be looked at as a real nigga, yeah, young thug held it down, young thug didn't fall. What does that mean in the real world? You got kids, you had a fiance. What do they supposed to do? Cause you chose to be a real nigga over being a father and a husband. And that's what hurts me the most. Cause I feel like it like this. Young Thug has good value in society. Whether you wanna believe it or not. Young Thug free, he feeds a lot of people. He does a lot of good things, but he used his power for the wrong reason in some cases. A lot of these YSL members, they starting to sound like groupies to me. They're starting to sound like do boys. It's a shame that when you're out in the free world, when you're out on the streets, you're growling at niggas, throwing up gang signs, talking about what you gonna do when you see me. It's on and popping you at the club. The moment you get arrested, you flip the script on the guy that was feeding you just to get a lighter sentence like you had some value in society. That's what I don't like. I guarantee you, most of these dudes who are taking a plea deal, we gonna read about them committing another crime. I guarantee you, half of these guys will be back in the system. And they know that. So they can flip the script on Young Thug all they want. They can say Young Thug made me do it. Young Thug was the cause of my criminality. Young Thug is locked up. I'm gonna see how y'all behave while he behind bars. If y'all guys out here committing crimes, then it wasn't Young Thug. It's a you problem. And you gotta be held accountable for it. You can't get a get out of jail free card like the prosecutors in Atlanta is giving you guys. I don't like that at all. If we rolling with Young Thug, we high and mighty with him, we getting paper with him, we getting notoriety, then y'all got to be willing to hop on that ship and sink with them. That's how I feel about that. So as I sit back and I look at this case, the prosecutors are going to try to paint Young Thug as a killer, a gang leader, and a drug kingpin that forced the YSL members to commit crimes for him. And I don't think that's right. I think these guys was willing participants. I think Young Thug did have a hand in every crime that YSL committed. He was a rapper. He was running a record label. I refuse to believe that Young Thug had every hand in every crime that YSL committed. That's not even possible. So I think Young Thug is the scapegoat. I think many people is looking at this case saying, hey, I did this crime, but I do got some info on Young Thug. I can get a state, so I'm willing to take the 15 years probation. And I think the state is handling this case real sloppy. I don't even think Young Thug is getting a free trial. Now, don't get me wrong. If Young Thug committed these crimes, he deserves to be in jail, but I'm also a component of free trial, fair trial as well. So I think Young Thug is getting the short end of the stick. Now, this is what I got to say about Young Thug. I look at you on a surface level millionaire got your own clothing brand 
own record label why did you choose to surround yourself with these guys because they ain't solid at all even your right hand man's you shouting out their songs even they told on you gonna fold it he said why it was a gang i don't really think that snitching but what i do think that did young thug you gonna get a racketeering charge you're gonna get a gang enhanced racketeering charge for real because everybody that cop the plea admitted that YSL was a gang and they admitted that they know crimes you committed so what you think they're gonna happen at trial everybody that cop the plea they gonna have to come back and testify against young thug about what they know gonna slam like shawty little duke um YSL tick antonio sledge all you guys who cop the plea get to go back home with your family kiss your girl play with your kids when it's time for trial we gonna see who the real rats are. We gonna see who the weak link is. Cause we gonna see if Gunner gonna testify. Cause I think Gunner is gonna get to, 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 to go to trial and I think he gonna take his fifth a minute. I think he's gonna do that for sure. But Antonio Sledge and YCL Tick, they are gonna testify and their hearing, their testimonies is gonna put your thug away for life. I'm not exaggerating. Watch what I tell you. So when you done thug, you might have to get these boys up out of here. I'm just saying. <laughs> but anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel. Do you think Young Thug should take a plea deal if it's offered? Or do you agree with his father? Young Thug is innocent, so he ain't taking no plea deal. Let me know in the comment section. Be sure to share this video. I love you guys. Peace.